now, after seeing the various bases of various number systems and coming to know how many digits are present in each, uh, each of the base, so the base is 2, which is called binary number system, there are 2 digits, octal number system, there are 8 digits, decimal number system, there are 10 digits, and hexadecimal number system, there are uh, 16 digits, right? What is the story of 10? When the digits are over, then combination begins and the combination starts with 10 in each case. Therefore, for the different number systems, 10 appears in different, different places. 10 appears here for binary, uh, here for octal, here for decimal, and here for hexadecimal. Next comes is an observation for your notice. Check the observation. It only shows how the digits are moved. So the first, the last, uh, the unit's digit is changed. When it reaches its final value, then it goes back to zero and the higher digit is changed. So now I would like to show you from your uh, simple observation on the number getting generated, what is the previous number, what is the next number for the given base. So let me make the size little bigger. And you can see I have got a number 12 in base which is 8, octal number. Octal number 12, what will appear before it? The number that will appear before 12 in octal number will be 11, right? 11, 11, 11. And after 11 comes 12. And after 12 in octal number system comes 13. So this is simple. Let us go to the next. If I take binary number double one double zero one thousand one hundred, can you guess what will appear before it? The number that will appear before it has got the. Mm, mm, let me let me just write the number once for you. Then I am going to show you the reason. Before hundred, what comes is uh, in binary number system it will be eleven because eleven is the combination of both the digits both the digits which are over. So of uh, before one thousand one hundred. What appears is 1011 and I will show that from the number chart also to you and what come appears after it is 1101. Let me show the number chart so that you can see the reason of the previous number in binary. So I had given 1100. Just see this 1100 has come before it was 1011. That is also because 1011 when increased by 1 gives 1100. This, this one you will require to observe a little bit more that 1 less and 1 more how they are getting created. Okay. Then I come to the next example here. The next example is um, FF. FF is the last two digits like f, f is both the digits are the last digits what appears before f is e so the number before ff will be fe in hexadecimal and what will come after ff what will come after ff will be both are over since both are over then there is no digit left so since there is no digit left so 100 because the combination of three digit will begin after the combination of two digits are over then we come to 100 in octal number system. Octal number system, three digit will begin when all the two, di two digits are over. In octal number system, the two digits uh, will end when both the single digits are their last values, right? And after 100 comes simply 101. Then I come to 100 in hexadecimal number system. In hexadecimal number system, 100 will appear when? both its mm, previous two digits have come to an end. That means F and F are the two digits which are coming to an end. Let me show you a little bit more of the page. So, after 100 will be 101. 101 will be common for mostly all of them. But the previous digits, like if I take one more example and if I say 100 from base, if this is base, you know, this is base octal. I'm writing in word which will make it faster. This is base binary, right? This binary is also uh, finishing uh, at two digits. Now this one is base hexadecimal. This one is based octal. This one is based hexadecimal. 
And let me take one more. Let me take one more example for you, which can be taken as example number six, which can be taken as just one second. I can take this as an example for you. Number six as 100 in base 10, right? If I take 100 in base 10, can you tell me what will be the previous number? Yes, the previous two digit number where all the digits are at the last digit. So decimal number system, the last two digits will be 99 because they are the previous numbers, all the digits finished. And after 100 will appear 101. This is in decimal. Okay. Then the next section onwards, we are going to look into how the numbers can be converted from one base to another. That is possible. Now, as I have said, that relationship between the numbers indicate if this is some number in uh, decimal number system, what is the equivalent value in binary system? So, 3 in decimal system is equivalent to binary 11. 10 in octal is same as 8 in decimal. 10 in decimal is same as 8 in hexadecimal. So, they can be interconverted. 1000 in binary is 10 in octal, F in hexa is 17 in octal and you can compare that from this chart. This chart is a very important chart. You see, one number from one base is equivalent to some other number in some other base. Sometimes they are coincidentally same and sometimes they are not same. Okay. So, uh, in the coming sections, we are going to look into how to convert numbers from one base to another. Okay.